little walking tour. This is just their basic storage room. They've got, you know, a lot of their extra kegs and things like that in here. Then through here, we've got the stilling room as well as the bottling going on, which is super cool. This gentleman here is hard at work bottling. I, uh, I don't have the hands for it, so he's killing it. But uh, yeah, in this room, this is where they do all the actual um, distilling. So as you guys can see behind me here, they've got all these different stills. Um, it takes a lot of heat to power, which is super cool. They showed us their uh, boiler room and it's like huge and really cool. And then uh, I like to think of this as the cinematic sample area. So this is where they do all their testing to see how things are going, which is super cool. And the last room that we'll quickly check out is the keg room, which is just through here. Hold on one moment, please. Your call is being processed. You are a valued customer. Which is just in here. There it is. Okay, all right. Thanks, Chuck. <laughs> so anyways, um, I would say whenever you're doing a shoot like this, one of the biggest things is making sure that you brought a variety of focal lengths. We were in a ton of different lighting situations, which is super cool, but can be a challenge, right? So make sure that you bring, you know, a telephoto, bring a fast lens, bring a slow lens. I don't know, just bring what you have. But today I shot with my 17 to 35 f2.8 um, mostly. And then at the end there, I just did a couple shots with my 51.4 just to get a little bit more bokeh um, for the static shots when they were doing their cheers. But anyways, let's cut to some footage of the guys talking about their journey here and we'll wrap it up there. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's BTS of making the promotional video for these awesome two gentlemen. Um, if you guys could just tell us a little bit about the distillery, how did you guys meet? When did this amazing establishment open? Yeah, so uh, Jacques and I met at a uh, distillery course in the Okanagan after we, we had met before that. We lived uh, our separate lives, did uh, our own careers in engineering. And, but we always had a passion for making different spirits like brandies, whiskeys, and rap. And uh, we got together and combined our mind, and this is the end result, a beautiful product that uh, made you great your first time. Amazing. And what would you guys say is unique about distilling in Alberta, maybe compared to other provinces? Because the Alberta market is definitely kind of a unique space that's maybe different from the rest of the country. It is, because it's very competitive uh, in Alberta, as you know, there's lots of product from around the world. There's like 10 times more listing in Alberta than in Ontario and Quebec on the shelf. So when you uh, release a new product, you need to be solid, uh, providing quality, uh, good value. So we, uh, and we have all the ingredients here in the province, right? We have the best grain in the world, wheat, barley, and so on. And we, uh, we uh, just rise up to the challenge. So check out the liquor stores if you can't make it down to the delivery. Otherwise, we do tours every Fridays and uh, Sundays in the afternoon. Uh, come down for a great tour. Awesome, and don't bring your kids, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, you can, you can. <laughs> Mark is just smiling because he already did. So he already broke the cardinal rule. Uh, well, anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching today's video. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Remember to take beautiful photos every single day. Do it for the views, do it for yourself, and check out the Bridgeland Distillery. They're an amazing space and one of Calgary's best. See you in the next one. Cheers.